Tonight on the 31 Nights of Halloween Horror. Sorry folks, but no singing this time. Instead, hell hath no fury as a woman scorned. But what if the scorned woman's already in hell? Tonight's movie, The Inferno. Hello, everybody, and welcome back to another episode of the 31 Nights of Halloween Horror! Yes! All hope is lost. And yes, my friends, we are at, what, episode 11, right? Are we episode 11 already? Are we a third of the way through this marathon of madness? I, I guess so, but I have realized that I have yet to travel to the wonderful world of Japan for some uniquely Japanese horror weirdness. And so we're going to rectify that situation now with my review of a movie called <clears throat> The Inferno, The Inferno from my friends at Mondo Macabro. Ooh, limited edition number 909. Yes, under a thousand. <laughs> anyway, so what is The Inferno about? Well, it is about two lovers who are on the run. And they are on the run from a jealous husband. Yes, because they are adulterous lovers. In fact, the, the woman, whose name is Miho, is pregnant with the lover's child. And to make things even worse, the lover is the husband's brother. Yes, the husband's brother, who also is married too, so it's like double adultery. My goodness, people, golly. Anyways, the the older brother, the jealous brother, is hunting them and tracks them down and shoots his younger brother and then uh, goes uh, and tries to kill the baby inside the womb by stepping on poor Miho's belly and then leaving her for dead. And so the the wife, of course, of the, the adulterer <laughs> needs to know that the baby is dead because she can't she can't handle that. So she also visits and Miho's like, no, please, please save the baby, save the baby. And, and of course, it's like, fuck that shit. And she leaves her also for dead. And Miho dies, but not everyone is dead. No, the baby lives and is born post-mortem, and her name is Aki. <clears throat> now, the villagers come and see this birth and take the baby, and they go to the woman, the wife, and say, hey, here is this baby, and of course, the wife is all just like, I can't handle this shit. This is my husband's adulterous offspring and decides that she's going to kill it. But that would look bad. The villagers would be like, what would you think? So she gets this man to swap the child out for another child. And Aki goes off to live in an orphanage, orphanage far away. And the other child is raised in her stead. However, Miho descends into hell and there her sins are weighed and of course it is the sin of adultery but also they notice that she is by herself no she should be bringing that child with her and because of that her sin is doubled because that's fucking ridiculous i mean how is she supposed to be like responsible for that like seriously fates you allowed the baby to be born out after death i mean god knows like come on like what was she supposed to do like make sure is her dying breath that she just yeah that's i think that's ridiculous standards man and and, and honestly really wrong but anyways so <clears throat> aki because of this is cursed cursed with her mother miho's rage and bloodthirsty want for revenge desire my god why can't i come up with the word desire there her bloodthirsty desire for revenge so aki grows up and becomes a race car driver and kind of uh causes a bit of an accident and because of that the uh the owner of the team's basically like like you gotta take like a vacation you need to get away from here 
figures your shit out and, and all that stuff. And so she decides to go on a vacation to this well-renowned hot springs. And on the train ride there, she almost dies. Yes, and some man saves her. And says, like, hey, where are you heading for? And I'm like, I'm going to this hot spring. Well, you know what? This hot spring is actually closed because of a vaca- or uh, because of an earthquake. However, you can come with me to my village. It's the next stop. And, of course, she agrees because, you know, you saved her life. And, uh, you know, handsome guy, beautiful woman. Of course, they're going to fall in love and all that, all that great stuff. He takes her to his home, and lo and behold, we find out that his mother is the wife. Yes, so, wait a second, that means Aki and this guy, they're like half-siblings. They're somewhat blood-related. That's kind of incestuous. Damn it, Japan, what are you doing always with the incest, Japan? I don't understand it. Anyways, so of course... While there, the uh, she is becoming more and more consumed by the spirit of Miho and her vengeance and causes chaos uh, in the village. So will Aki be able to break free from her curse, her destiny, and forge a path with her love, who's also her half-brother? I don't know. You'll have to watch the movie to find out. So let's get to those scores, shall we? <clears throat> Violence and gore. I am giving this a four out of five. It's not overly disgusting, but there are some really intense scenes, especially in the inferno scenes. Uh, people being grounded into bloody chunks, and uh, people have to climb up of, uh, like a mountain of spikes and the spikes are going through their hands and their feet. And honestly, like, like, man, just watching that just makes you go, Oh, ow, ow, ow. Among other things, people forced to feed on each other and, Oh man, tree that has branches with knives and whatever. And anyways, four out of five shock value, a uh, two out of five. Generally the, the shock is kind of like, in what's going on in the inferno there's not really a lot of like jump scares but the some of the violence is shocking and also some of the the actions of the characters are a little bit shocking like man you just had a near-death experience so you of course you want to just fuck the next person you see right right i don't know <laughs> anyways so moving on to plot plot i'm giving this a three out of five it is an interesting film uh, feels original. However, there are some uh, issues with the pacing. It's slow at times. Also, some of the character decisions are like weird and like I don't understand why they would decide to do something like that. But regardless, very solid above average. Three out of five. Moving on to nudity, and I'm going to give this a two out of five. Uh, you you get to see some 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 nice nice Japanese breasts in this movie. However, uh, the scenes are rather short. I mean, there is like one bathing scene where you, you, you see a little bit more for an extended period of time. But overall, nothing like too graphic, nothing too uh, absurd. So yeah, I, a, a decent amount and they are decent, of course, man. <laughs> I mean, come on, the guy's got to fall in love with her because of her personality. <laughs> no, he does it because he barely knows anything about her personality before he falls in love with her. It's love at first sight. You know, it's just humor. Anyways, <clears throat> two out of five. Moving on to enjoyment factor. I am giving this a four out of five. It is a strange, weird film. The Inferno uh, segments are really cool, really interesting, and... You know, I'm sure some of the plot problems uh, is about me not necessarily understanding all of the lore and uh, all of the theology. So, yeah, I'm, I'm an outsider to that situation. So maybe uh, I'm a, a little bit harsher on that. But I love weird, strange, 
bloody Japanese cinema. And this is definitely strange and weird and maybe not very strange to, a, to an insider. But to an outsider like me, strange and weird. But I love it. I love it. Oh. <laughs> Anyways, so a four out of five. And my overall impression is a four out of five. It is a solid film. Well made. Yes, I know it's got some issues with, with pacing and some character decisions. But it is... Oh, it is weird and entertaining, and you're just trying to put your head around it. And the ending kind of is... I don't know. I'm not all, if I'm a fan about the ending, because it's like I don't understand exactly what happened, but I guess it's sort of a happy ending. I don't know. <laughs> Anyways, uh, four out of five, and that averages out to a 3.1 out of five the inferno i mean oh there's 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 some weird stuff going on here uh and the 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 mother <laughs> the wife whatever is like really sinister and crazy um that's right i forgot to talk about acting right so let's go back to acting right so acting is a three out of five look i think um it's hard for me to always judge but i did enjoy the the uh the mother, the wife, the, the uh, whose name escapes me, like Sado or Sado or whatever. Anyways, um, man, I don't know. Uh, she she really, you know, comes across uh, her 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 shock at seeing Aki, who looks exactly like Miho. Uh, I think you know she does a wonderful job. Um, the the brother, the husband. Uh, he a little bit, you know, hammed it up a bit, and the the love interest is kind of flat, but overall, I think uh, very solid acting, especially with uh, the the person who plays both Miho and Aki because you're the same person, and you can kind of uh, really feel like the the confusion and the rage and the and the way that she she kind of like floats in between uh herself and Miho's rage and and ghost and stuff like that. So I think those those two really did a good job. Uh everyone else was kind of like oh, okay there and then like the the jealous husband uh yeah, not not as not as great. But anyways, so there we have it. 3 out of 5. We rewind it back there. And, of course, the average score, 3.1 out of 5, which is really good. So there you have it. So there you have it. Finally, golly, this has been a mess. The Inferno. Tell me what you think. Have you seen the Inferno? Do you want to see the Inferno? Leave a comment in the comment section below and uh, tell me what you think. Uh, and all that good stuff. And thank you again for watching another episode of the 31 Nights of Halloween Horror. Don't forget to rate, comment, subscribe, hit the bell, notifications, all that stupid, crazy shit. And, and uh, remember to stay scary, Internet. And to remember, as always. Actually, the moral of the story here is like, why can't I? have like that movie romance, right? Why can't I just, you know, find a girl and the girl be like, oh man, you're awesome and you're awesome. And then just be like in love, like at first sight, just boom, you're in love and, and all the happy flowers and all that stuff. And, and then I realized that, oh, well, I mean, it's probably your not before uh, known half sister. And so you're kind of an incestual, uh, relationship and then also it's gonna be like she's possessed by the ghost of her dead mom and she's going to destroy you and your family and you're going to um just have a really bad time and so maybe i shouldn't have that sort of love at first sight or mutual love at first sight type of thing i don't know but then again she is pretty damn hot so is it worth it no, 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 Sis, sister, no, S sibling shit, no, 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 can't do that, can't do that, no, well, nope, not gonna go there, nope, and I'm also, like, 
Like, there is a scene toward the end where it's like, why are you guys having sex? Like, like the, the world is going to end. And, well, maybe, I guess, maybe they figured the world was going to end. And it's like, well, we might as well have sex one last time. But it just, like, it just makes no fucking sense. I mean, I guess die doing what you love, right? <laughs> or die doing who you love. Anyways, I'm done.